Gems for you guys. Get your bag out. I really hope you catch them. Out. Hey YouTube fam, it's your girl Gladys, aka Is That Your Hair, and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Small Talk Saturdays. During Small Talk Saturdays, we discuss things that are important to us on this channel. And as I stated in my other videos, we are focusing on YouTube-related topics for the months of June and July. Now, if you haven't checked out my other videos during this series, How to Start a YouTube Channel Part One and Two, and my top 10 mistakes I've made as a small YouTuber, please check that out because it is jam-packed with valuable information that I think every YouTuber needs to know. I will link all three videos in my description box down below. Thank you to everyone who has watched these videos. I've been receiving a lot of great feedback and I'm so, so pleased. So yes, let's keep this going. All right, so today I'm here to discuss a brand new feature that has rolled out on YouTube. I noticed this feature maybe about two and a half weeks ago because I noticed it on someone's video. And I was like, what? What is this? This person has timestamps on their actual video. How did they do that? So I looked it up. I was watching the YouTuber Annie Dubay. She talked about timestamps and a few others. And I was like, this is something that my audience needs to know about. So we're gonna talk about timestamps and how this new feature is probably gonna change the game when it comes to audience retention on YouTube. Audience retention, for those who are unaware, is the amount of time someone spends watching your individual video. Now, when I go into my analytics, I can see my average audience retention for my channel, and I can also see my average audience retention per video. Generally, if you're getting people to watch 40% of your video and more, you're doing a really good job with retention. Right now, mine, is like 30, 35% sometimes. Sometimes it's 28, 29, it fluctuates a lot. But I'm really trying to hit that 40% mark consistently. And good news, my last video hit the 40% mark, woohoo! So I'm always on the search to figure out, dad, what can I do to get my audience attention to be higher? When I heard about this timestamps feature, I was like, huh, this is different. <laughs> At first, I didn't really see how this could be valuable, but after watching a few videos and seeing it on my channel, I was like, I think this could work. I think YouTube is on something. So, let me explain what this new feature is. YouTube just rolled out timestamps where you are able to see physical timestamps on a person's video. So as you look at my video here, you can see on my last video, I put timestamps where you can see the intro, going live, mistake number two, three, four. You can literally see that and you can actually click it and it will take you to that part of the video. Pretty cool, right? So first I'm gonna show you how to actually do it on your video and then I will explain to you why it's important. In order to do this on your video, you have to go to whatever video you're trying to edit and you can click edit video. And if you go in your description box, have to physically type in the timestamp and it has to start with zero, 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 or else it's not gonna work. So that's very important to keep in mind. It has to start with zero, zero, zero. And then from there, you can list as many timestamps as you like. Also keep in mind that you need to have at least three timestamps in order for it to work. And your individual timestamps must have a word that is three letters or more in order for it to work. Also be mindful that each chapter has to be at least 10 seconds long. So literally after I do this, my last Small Talk Saturday video was ready to go. I was really excited to see that. Now why is this feature important? Why is this an audience retention game changer? You know, when I first thought about it, I was like, isn't this encouraging people to skip around on your videos? But as I thought about it some more, it's actually going to encourage more watch time and here's how. First of all, when someone is watching your video, it is likely that they might not be watching the part they wanna see, or maybe they get bored easily, you never know. If they are able to see a timestamp that says a certain... Hi. Hello. A family. You're welcome. Thanks, boo. You're welcome. Mmm. Mmm, this is good. Of course it's good. Stop lying. As 
was saying, if your audience is able to see a timestamp, it shows something that they're actually interested in. Yes, they may skip over to that part, but it will actually increase your watch time because they are more likely to watch the remainder of that individual timestamp or chapter. And it's more likely that they will wa watch the rest of your video. Whereas if there was no timestamp, they might get bored of your video or realize this is not what I want and they'll just click off your video without even trying to sift through and see what other information is on your video. Does that make sense? Let me know if it makes sense in the comments down below. I definitely think that this can encourage your watch time to go up because people will have a choice to see different parts and it will encourage them to stay on your video longer. And remember, that is what YouTube wants. YouTube likes videos that encourage people to stay on the YouTube platform. That is YouTube's MO. That is their main point in life they want people to stay on their platform for as long as possible because the longer the video plays the longer the ads will play and the more money they can potentially make i'm really curious to see how this feature plays out in the long run i will definitely come check back in with you guys maybe in another two months or so just to give you some feedback on that as far as how it's done with my channel i really hope it helps my audience retention rate to go up especially for longer videos and i haven't finished adding all my chapters like i still have the first two small talk Saturdays I have to add chapters to that as well but I'm happy that YouTube is rolling out these features for us to try out and see how they work for our channels let me know what you think about this new feature in the comments down below have you heard about it have you tried it on your channel let me know as a viewer if you're not a youtuber how do you feel about this feature talk to me in the comments down below again as a quick reminder this is what you need to know when you do the timestamp you have to start with zero 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 you have to put at least three letters on or more within the timestamp description and you have to have at least three timestamps in order for it to work I really hope this is helpful for you all I know for me in particular I don't want to put too much detail on the timestamp especially if I'm giving like you know tips on YouTube because I don't want people to just read the tips then it's like what's the point of watching the video if they can just read it but I'll give them just enough information for them to at least know like okay this is where this starts and this is where this stops I really hope this video was helpful to someone. Let me know in the comments down below. Let's talk about it. And of course, if you're new here, make sure you click the subscribe button, tap the notification bell, and stay a while. Introduce yourself. Let me know who you are. Make sure you check out my other videos pertaining to how to start a YouTube channel and also my 10 mistakes I made as a YouTuber. Super important, super valuable. I cannot make this stuff up. I'm dropping gems for you guys, and I really hope you're catching them. Get your bag out and catch these gems. And of course, if you want to see my latest videos, check them out over here to the right of me. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.